Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to talk a little more diecast. Uh, I've been talking about how I want to do some more videos on diecast cars, and I figured I'd talk about the new line up of M2 Machines Dodge pickups. I actually have, I'm starting to collect these ones as well, but I love M2 Machines. I find, um, like as you can see, that the, both of those castings are M2s. I absolutely love M2 machine castings. I think they're some of the best die cast cars in their true 164 scale uh, vehicles. So they look and feel the part of an actual pickup truck. But nonetheless, I figured I'd go over some of these new Dodge trucks. I want to show you some of them that are out. I know a lot of people have been talking about them online and they're slowly becoming more and more popular. Uh, they, they're coming hot off the heels of a recent introduction of GM OBS trucks from M2. This one here is part of a hauler set that I have uh, as a loose one, but uh, I've been collecting all these trucks and uh, I actually have every one of these except for one of them, uh, which is a SEMA truck. So uh, it's a special edition SEMA truck. Now, I just wanted to go over these. I'm gonna show you the detail on these trucks. I've been super impressed with this one especially. This was part of a hauler set. Like I said, it had a trailer behind it with a Firebird in it. But look at the metallic paint on it. I mean, some of the tempos on these trucks are kind of screwed up. I recently got one of these GMC trucks that had like a two-tone paint and it was kind of messed up. But M2 does a pretty darn good job on these details of these trucks. Now, this one says in the, in the hauler kit, it says it's a 1998 GMC, which is kind of funny, but if you look at the dash, it's actually the pre-1995 dash. It's from the, it's the 88 to uh, 95 dash, or 94 dash. So it's a squared off dash, but super slick job. The details on these trucks are pretty good, except for this one's got a solid front axle and stuff, but... Uh, Let's see here if I can open the hood on this thing. This one's a modified truck. It's actually got like an LS motor under the hood. Let me see if I can open it real quick. I know I can get my fingernail under right there. I'll kind of show you. So with M2 is really good with model kits. And when they come up with a popular casting, I mean, they milk it big time. And this is one of them. Um, just... A ton of detail on them so yes the OBS trucks have been super popular so to follow up with that for Dodge fans they've come up with a whole new line up of 70s Dodge style trucks uh, the first one is actually I don't have it yet it's being sent to me it is an auto club which is their kind of like red line club from Hot Wheels uh, model of Little Red Express and their Little Red Express truck was awesome it's got gold uh wheels gold stacks looks really cool it comes in a nice actual huge box i do i did buy that and it's coming so but i wanted to go through some of these actual trucks and i i'm only missing that one there's a new model kit that hasn't hit all the shelves yet that's red and i obviously i don't have the chase ones but they um after they came out with that, oh, and there's a SEMA truck that I have pre-ordered that won't be here until January. A truck that you could get at the SEMA show. I have it pre-ordered, and it's pretty cool. It's a green, like a sublime green lifted uh, truck that looks like these power wagons, but it's got a, a Hellcat style hood, which I'll show you on a different model here pretty quick. And it's uh, got a Hellcat engine underneath the hood. But I want to go through these real quick. So... After the launch of the Little Red Express truck, they came out with these. These This is the O'Reilly's uh, 1972 D150 Adventurer pickup. And this one is a Christmas ornament. As you can see here, it's got a Christmas tree in the back. Super detailed. Love this truck. I was lucky enough to walk into an O'Reilly's, and I went and called all the O'Reilly's I could in the area to see if they would get these. And I kept calling and calling and calling. And nobody had them in stock. And when they did, people robbed them all. I went into the O'Reilly's right around the corner from my house. And they just happened to have every single one sitting there. They just put them out. 
So I got every single ornament. There's a Dodge Daytona. There was uh, another uh, OBS truck in there. Uh, a Mustang. What else was there? There was a couple other ones. But anyways, this was the one I wanted the most. So as you can see, super cool. Haven't opened it yet. But um, I do have one coming to open up. I did have to buy one online just so I can open it up. Because I want to put them in a display. So when that truck hit, that was super popular. Now there was another ornament set that hit uh, Walmarts. Only select Walmarts. Now I bought that set. I could not find it anywhere near me. And uh, there was one like up in the thumb of Michigan. But when I got there, they were gone. So... There was a, a, a OBS set in that as well that I bought. But these are the trucks that came in there. These are, if you remember from the 70s, these are Dodge Snow uh, Fitter trucks. These were plow trucks that were custom for plowing. Kind of like the Snow Chief, but before it. This one here has got a little bit of a, like, this is what I'm talking about with M2. They do either a phenomenal job or they do little, like, errors with their castings. But Look at, it's got window graphics and stuff. Happy Holidays, 23. So I got these and the ornaments were, when I got it, the box was fine, but the ornaments inside were just busted up. Because it's tight. But then they have this really cool metallic blue one. And I absolutely love the paint job on this one. And it's got the same rear window decal. And you can see, like, when it was in the ornament box, look at the plate got chipped on it. This one was totally destroyed inside. Like, it broke off the mount. Look, it's still got the screws in it from the mount that broke. Look at, see the, how the, um, see how parts of the mount are still there? That's how hard it got damaged from, uh, UPS. So, but super detailed trucks and the correct tempos on the sides, but love these trucks it's even got the rain gutters on them but yeah you'll see the holes in the box and you'll wonder what that is and that's because the next one to come out was this series this was a coca-cola series exclusive for walmart these were super popular to find because they came in um there was another obs truck with this and it was part of a really popular set that was almost impossible to find uh, people were buying them up and selling them online. I ended up getting this one here, this loose one. Uh, I I bought it in a in an actual package, but I took it out because I wanted it for display. But let me see if I can open this one up. Some of them open up really easy, but look at see the motor in it. Now you can notice this is totally wrong. Look how wide the fenders inset in the mo in the engine bay. That's wrong, but still a cool casting. It's got bench seat in it. It's got a cool blue interior, but you can see those holes were made for roll bars. So that's pretty cool. It says Dodge on the back. And I have this one, like I said, in its original package, which came like this. So it's got the polar bears on it. Very cool. At the same time that one came out, we got this box here. This is another one that I happened to find. I think I found this one at um, Hobby Lobby, of all places. And this is a uh, W200 Power Wagon, as you can see. But, yeah, I love how M2 does the display cases and has the different, like, boxes and stuff. But... I have it loose here, and as you can see, it's the same exact casting as the Coca-Cola one and these ones. It's just, it's done up with this orange with a black bench. You can see the seat belts in there. Just super cool casting. Very clean. Like I said, you can see sometimes the taillights. It's weird because on the, I only seen one casting so far that doesn't have jeweled taillights like these plastic taillights on these OBS trucks but for some reason all of these trucks here 
have metal and they just don't, they're kind of sharp too. They kind of stick out, but love the way those trucks look. So we have those. There's a six car box set that came to Walmart and these had a chase for Little Red Express as well as, let me move these out of the way, as well as a super raw chase for, for Little Red Express as well. But this is the pull box set. Um, it's very hard. These, these sets are going for crazy amounts of money right now. I, I looked everywhere for this, could not find the set. I went all over the place, went online, purchased it for $70 from somebody who actually lives four miles from my house. <laughs> I ended up talking to him online, super cool guy. Yeah, he lives four miles from my house. And I was like, what store did you happen to get those at? The same exact store that I go to to find these. So, yep. <laughs> now I know where they went. So I ended up paying... Oh, like a $30 premium just to get them, but he bought the whole set. He didn't have the chases, but it does have the cool sleeve that he sent me. But there's six trucks in here, and they're super amazing. So this one here is a 1976 Dodge Adventure 150. This is the same color as that SEMA truck, same hood, but it, instead of being an off-road truck, it slammed to the ground. And look, SRT, like a, with a uh, bumblebee stripe on it. It's still got those holes in the back for the roll bar, but since there's no roll bar. And if I open this, there is a Hellcat motor underneath the hood. Instead of having an actual, it's not just like, oh, it's a Hellcat. No, there's an actual Hellcat uh, stamp motor under the hood. But blacked out grill. Look at the lights, just the they're how they're plastic and they look like they're actual glass. Super cool model. Looks kind of Cuda-ish from the front with that uh, Hellcat hood on it, but love that truck. Looks super cool. Now with this next truck, this is kind of a cool little homage to something really unique. So let me pull this out of the way because I want to talk about this truck. Now this is, has to be probably the least favorite in the series. It's an emergency truck. And when I say emergency truck, see how it says Rusco Squad on it? Back in 1972 to 1977, there was a very popular TV show called Emergency. And in that show, one of the main vehicles in it was this 1972 Dodge pickup that was had the utility box, and it was a rescue truck. And it was for LA, or basically... Uh, Los Angeles. So it said a Los Angeles County on the side. I think it was County. But anyways, it said Los Angeles Fire Department Rescue Squad. This pays om or plays homage to that exact truck, except for it says L.A. Sands County. It's a little different, but it's very close to the actual truck. And it's very cool. So those who remember that show or have watched reruns of it, of emergency that ran it and it was actually produced and created by Jack Webb and if you're familiar with Jack Webb you might remember the original Dragnet series he was the one or one of the guys who helped create this series but um you know Joe Friday that's the guy so he didn't only create uh, create Dragnet but he helped create emergency but very cool homage to that i think it's probably the most underrated model in this uh, box set, but super, super cool. So that's the second one. Remember, we got six. So the next one I'm going to pull out is another snow fitter one, but this one is very cool. And the reason why this one's very cool is unlike these trucks, which have the snow fitter decals and stuff on them let me see if i can zoom in there we go the snow fitter decals and stuff on them this one actually is dark blue which is correct and it's metallic 
just like the original. It's got the faded stripe. These ones have a faded stripe as well, but this one has a plow. So just like the original trucks that were made to plow. So basically the same exact truck, dark blue, doesn't have the window uh, graphics in the back, but it does have the plow, which looks really cool. This casting here, this next one that we're going to look at, 1978 Dodge Adventurer D150 Little Red Express Truck. This is the one, if you notice on the top, that has the chase, which will have gold wheels and gold stacks on it. It also has a 250 Super Chase, which is the raw. And the raw one right now is, and I'm not huge into collecting chase models just because, but the raw one looks absolutely amazing. So there's no metal or no paint on it, it's just bare metal. It's got the same chrome stacks and everything. It's going for $150 right now online. So yeah, a little seven, eight dollar truck going for $150. Bucks. But yeah, you can tell 78, it's got the 78 front end on it. I always like the 79 better, but the 78 front end. But yeah, super detailed. It the only thing it doesn't have, I can say, is it it has the pinstriping around the fenders. It does not have wood in the box, which it should have. It should have wood slots in the box where the so you can kind of see where they're supposed to be. And the wood is just bare wood. And if you actually look at the actual Little Red Express truck, it's got kind of like an, uh, a hue to it. And this one's kind of just plain, but again, super nice casting. The next one was a dealer created pickup. This was the Midnight Express. Now, what makes this casting probably my favorite out of them all, not only is it slammed compared to Little Red Express, which probably will be the most popular casting in here, you notice that Midnight Express is slammed, not like the original truck, but notice underneath, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit, so you can get her. You probably can't tell, but underneath the Adventurer decal, there's a Hellcat logo. So if you open up the hood on this, it has a Hellcat motor in it. A little different than the little red express truck. Do like those wheels. Those are the wheels that are on the Auto Club one that I was talking about. But yeah, no wooden bed slots on it. But it does have the Dodge logo on the back, Midnight Express. This is probably my favorite one out of the set. And then lastly, in the six car set, we have another power wagon. It's the Macho Power Wagon. You might remember the Macho Power Wagon from the late 70s. This one's a 79. And look at that thing. Or no, this is a... Yeah, 79 power wagon, ain't it? Yeah, it's a 79. I was going to say I'm losing my mind. Yeah, it's a 79 power wagon. So absolutely stunning the macho colors. Look at, there's that roll bar at in the truck again. And they got the decos down to a T. Super cool casting. This is probably one of the more popular ones in this, in this series. So we had those six trucks in that box. Let me put these back real quick. And then, um, like I said, there's a new set that just came out. We know that in January, there's going to be a Sweethearts uh, set coming out with uh, the Power Wagon. But this is the, the first one to have a hauler set. Uh, this is a really awesome setup because you have the Power Wagon in the seafoam green color. And of course, it's a 74. But then you have a, another copy of that, uh, basically that green Hellcat one. It's basically the same, but it's got a different front end on it because it's a 78. 
So you, and the only problem is with that box in the front, you can't see the 78 front end on it. Where the other one was a 76, but you get this plum crazy purple paint scheme and it looks freaking awesome. Let's see if I can turn that around. And it's got the Hellcat badge on the tailgate too. So I can't wait for these trucks. Like I'm, I'm, sl I'm slowly collecting them. Um, this one just came out. Uh, it's getting hard to find because people like this setup so much. Uh, I would have to say that more than likely, if you're going to be like me and collect all these, you're going to have to um, either hunt every day because this series is becoming super, super popular. Or you're going to have to take and go online and try to find them. Um, I want to show you real quick, too, before we're done here. This is a Hot Wheels Premium. I think this is supposed to be a 1980 Power Wagon. But as you can see here, this 1980 Power Wagon is a Hot Wheels Premium truck. It's got rubber tires. They usually they have a metal base. This one's not metal. This is plastic, but it's part of a team transport set. As you can see here, this is supposed to be like a unlicensed pickup, which I actually think is pretty cool to hauler. It's got five spoke magnums on it. Looks pretty cool. It's got Mopar inside, but it's not an actual Dodge product. But as you can tell, this has got some goofy brush guard. That's super cheap looking. The base is plastic. Now, when you compare these trucks side by side, the lengthwise are pretty good. It's when you notice that this truck has so much more detail. You got your rain guards. This has nothing. I mean, look at the detail on the doors and how it's scalloped. And then if you look at the back, this is when you notice the real difference. Look at the width on the M2 versus the actual Hot Wheels truck. Not much of a difference, but it's enough to notice that there's a big, big difference in width and detail. Look at the detail. Now, mind you, this one was chipped in that um, that ornament. But, I mean, besides the bumper on there, look at the tailgate detail. Interior detail, there's a huge difference. Hot Wheels one looks way more just plastic lump in there. And then you got this huge brush guard on the front that just takes away from everything. You can't see the whole front of the truck, which cracks me up. But, I mean... It's Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels always exaggerates. Um, the only thing I can complain about is M2 does this really weird thing where their boxes aren't, like, legit. Like, they always do this, I don't know, it's not that deep, and the wheel arches are weird. And I think it's just how the chassis sits up in it compared to, like, look at this Hot Wheels. It's plastic, but look at look how deep that box is. You can actually put stuff in it. And this isn't the only casting that does that. This OBS truck does the same thing. You notice it's about the same kind of width, depth, maybe a little bit deeper, but the wheel wells stick way out. And that's because they put all different types of wheels on these things because these bodies fit on a ton of different chassis. But nonetheless, I am super, super, super impressed with... M2 machines in this lineup of trucks. I hope you guys are just as excited as I am to start collecting these. These are going to be a big part of my um, collection. And honestly, I really don't care about collecting um, Hot Wheels too much anymore. I absolutely love M2 machines and green light stuff because they're so much more detailed. And I think people, as they collect... Um, I do get castings of different, like, you know, Mopar stuff, but as I've gotten older and that, I tend to enjoy these more. Uh, for the money-wise, that, that premium truck from Hot Wheels is almost the same as what I would pay for this. So, I'd rather have these. Um, these usually run, if they're in the box by themselves, they usually run from 7 to, oh, probably $9.00 depending on where you get them. So, but uh, super detailed engine details, all that stuff. So anyways, leave your comments below. Tell me what you think of the new M2 Dodge truck series. 
I'm curious to know. And uh, hopefully, I would like to see them make a 90s style series as well. I think they'd be really good at making a 90s style Ram pickup. So leave your comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.